Welcome to the Common Ego community. My name is Christina, and I want to help you learn how to survive the narcissist discard. It feels so incredibly brutal and rough. And if you've been in this relationship for a long time, this probably isn't your first rodeo, but that doesn't mean it gets easier. So let's jump in. Number one, start regaining your control. Just think of it that way. Because if you're in a situation where you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, like we've all been in so many times before, that other person has complete control over you and your emotional state. That needs to change. So in regaining control, it could just be a simple mind shift. So instead of worrying about it, just brace yourself for it. I know it's coming and here are the steps I'm going to take to get back on my feet afterwards. And it could be if you're living together, maybe you need to find a new place to live. Maybe just start researching it so you can feel empowered when it happens. Okay, I'm ready for this. Or if you are financially dependent on this person, maybe it involves getting a part-time job or getting out to work somewhere, but doing something to try and get some income coming your way or figure out what you're going to do, what sort of resources you're going to rely on if you end up out on your own without any source of income. So now another way you can regain control is by taking control of the discard and this i have to tell you it's not going to be for the faint of heart narcissists are known to punish their victims after they have been discarded first and usually how narcissists will do this is they'll just hoover you back in and then brutally discard you and when i say brutally i mean worse than any discard you have ever experienced so to avoid that, you need to know that this is the final time you're going to accept this person in your life. This is it. If you're going to discard first, this has to be it. No hoovers from here on out. You need to shut them down. Go gray rock, go no contact, do whatever you have to do to get this person out of your life but do not go back if you discard first. The reason why it's so brutal goes back to the narcissist's biggest fear. And I have a video on that if you're interested or curious about it, I'm gonna link to it right here. Another thing you can do when you feel the discard coming on is a part of healing, and that's to learn about the trauma bond and why you ended up accepting those Hoover attempts before and why you've put up with the bad behavior when you never thought you would be the person to do that. So it all comes down to the trauma bond and I have a video about that too, I'll link that one. But essentially it's like an addiction. It's like you become addicted to this person. And when you understand that it's real, that there's science behind this, it's a little bit easier to overcome because you can start forgiving yourself for all that stuff that you've been beating yourself up over. It's not your fault. And now that you know, you can start taking steps to detox and rehabilitate yourself and get away from this toxic person. And the third thing you must do if you wanna survive the narcissist discard this time around is understand that narcissistic personality disorder is not curable. Listen to other stories, listen to other survivors, because if you do, when you do, you're going to be hearing your story out of other people's lips. You're gonna be reading it on other people's blogs. Almost the same exact story again and again. It's like there's a playbook and there isn't a playbook. But because the people who have the same disorder have a lot of the same characteristics, they end up acting in the same way. They are driven to act the way they do. Because of the trauma bond, you may have the instinct to try and help this person, to try and help them recover so you can be happy again together, like you were in the love bombing phase. But that's not realistic. It just is not realistic. I have a video about how to help the narcissist 
and I'll link to that one too. And really the only way you can help the narcissist is by stop giving them the supply that you have been giving them and allow them to make the decision to heal on their own. You can't make it for them. Okay, so the last tip I have to help you survive the narcissist's discard is to find your own closure. Just know it right now. Right now, know it. There will never be closure from the narcissist. You will never get it. And I think this is part of what keeps us going back and wanting to believe the Hoover because you want that closure. You never had it. So when the person comes back and wants to talk about what happened in the relationship, it's so appealing because there's just this open loop that you have that you feel like is never ever going to be closed. So when they come back, it feels like they might close it. But if you've been through this before, you know, they're not going to close it. They're just going to open another loop and another one and another one. You're not going to get closure from the narcissist. So prepare yourself for that. You need to find your own closure. So I have another video on what to do after the final discard. And that is what I hope this is for you. So there are some good tips on just the very first things to do in the moments after the discard. And so I'm going to link to that video and I highly suggest that you watch that one. But ultimately, I just want to send the message to you that you are going to get through this. And when you're finally on the other side, it doesn't feel right now like you're ever gonna be on the other side, but you will. And when you finally get there, you're gonna look back on all of this madness and you're gonna be so thankful that you took these steps today to start pulling yourself out of this emotionally abusive relationship. As they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And this is your one step. All you have to do is just focus on that one step every day. Don't worry about what tomorrow is going to be like. Just take one step and then take another and then take another. And one day you'll wake up and you won't even know when it happened, but you'll realize that you're walking all by yourself without the narcissist. You'll realize that you haven't even thought about this person in a long time and your life is better than ever. This is your future. So it's a time to be hopeful and not afraid. Even though it doesn't feel like it right now, this discard is the best thing that could happen to you. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post new videos. And I will see you next time.